Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Kenny Lee coming to you with today's daily devotional. I want to uh, thank you for being patient with me as I was unable to make a video yesterday. I had a, a routine colonoscopy scheduled for early Monday morning. I didn't anticipate that taking my time up at, in the degree that it did. Um, the procedure was scheduled for 8 a.m. and I figured I'd be home probably by 10 or 11, but as things happened, there was an emergency C-section at the hospital which pushed everything back and I didn't get home till almost three o'clock. I went to pick up a couple of my grandkids yesterday. They're spending the week with us, so I'm spinning a lot of plates, but I am glad to be here with you. Uh, as we prepare to enter into this time of reading scripture, praying together, and celebrating with a beautiful hymn, I want to invite you to pray with me. Let us pray. Holy God, we give you thanks for this day that you've given us. We thank you because we know that you're here, that you're alive in us, that you are present in this moment that we share, even though... Um, our times to come to this um, shared practice may be various times during the day. We know that you are here and that there is community in this practice. We pray today that you would open our hearts and minds through the power of your Holy Spirit as we pray this all in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Today's scripture passage comes to us from the book of First Timothy chapter 4, and I'll begin reading with verse 4. For everything God created is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, because it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer. If you point these things out to the brothers and sisters, you will be a good minister of Christ Jesus, nourished on the truths of the faith and of the good teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with godless myths and old wives' tales, Rather, train yourself to be godly, for physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise both for the present life and the life to come. This is a trustworthy saying, worthy of full acceptance. That is why we labor and strive, because we have put our hope in the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially of those who believe. This is the word of God for us, the people of God, to which we respond, thanks be to God. Paul is giving advice, admonishment, encouragement to his protege, Timothy, who he's left in charge of an area of churches. Timothy, though young, has been a protege of Paul from a long time back. Um, he has been a part of Paul's missionary journeys. He, is, he has found himself in the same straits that Paul is, and he's been taught by the apostle and now encouraged by the apostle. Is, as Paul has a wider mission, he's leaving various people in charge of areas of responsibility, and Timothy is certainly one of those, and he's one of his most trusted um, Protege is one of his most trusted followers. And he gives Timothy good advice that he is to be a teacher of sound doctrine, that he is to remember the gift of God that was stirred up in him, that was given to him by the laying on of hands when he was consecrated to the work of a minister. The work of a minister is very important. No less so than the work of every baptized Christian. We all have our respective roles to serve in God's church. Some of us in leadership positions, some of us in support positions, some of us as encouragers. We teach, we preach, we give, we pray, we prophesy and do all of the things that is required of us as a body of Christ in a given community. There's a very important part of the spreading of God's kingdom. God's kingdom with a capital K. God's kingdom that, that I'm not a, 
a king in or, or you're not a king in because Christ is the head of the body of every local church. Christ is the one who is at the head of the body. He is the one who sees the needs of people around us and, and acts with compassion. He is the one who allows us the opportunity to be in ministry as we work to enlarge God's kingdom and to build up the body of believers of which we're a part. I take my responsibilities here very seriously. And I recognize that as I lead in this community, that people watch me, they see how I lead my life. I, I try to be a good husband and father, um, even though there are times when that's considerably difficult to, to juggle everything that needs to be juggled. But um, I do it all knowing that God is the one in control and that we're doing all of this for God's glory, for our growth as individual Christians, for the growth of God's community of faith here at Marvel United Methodist Church, and for the growth of God's kingdom that has come here on earth as in heaven. I have a beautiful piece of music to share with you today. This is Take My Life and Let It Be. This is a beautiful song. Um, and one of my favorites, and you've heard it probably more than once since we've been doing um, these shared devotional times on a virtual platform. Let's listen together. Beautiful. 
I want to thank you for sharing this time with us today. I hope that God has spoken to you in something that we have prayed or will pray, something that we heard in this beautiful hymn or perhaps in the words of Scripture and the thoughts that I shared following. I hope more than anything that as you go through the course of this day that you do so knowing that God is with you, that He is working in you and through you and sometimes around you. I know that that's how things happen in my own life. God is at work in our community of faith, in the community in which we live, in our own individual lives. Would you pray with me? Holy God, we give you thanks and praise for this day, for this time that we have shared, O oh God, in which your scripture has not only been read in our hearing, Lord, but reads us. Help us to look deeply into ourselves, to know that you are God, that you are with us, that you're at work in our lives, that we have hope, Lord, in this life and in the life to come as we seek to live out our lives as faithful followers of Jesus Christ. We pray this all in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. Amen. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.